thanks for joining me today. I, I thought I'd go through a little rundown in regard to my, uh, my, my AR9 that I put together or revived basically, just to let you know what kind of components and stuff I have on it. So let's start from the butt area here. This is the uh, SB Tactical. This is the SB3 adjustable pistol stock, or excuse me, pistol brace. Do not say stock. Pistol brace, um, mil spec, buffer tube, and castle nut. No big deal there. I do have an ambidextrous uh, sling point um, for charging handle. I love Strike Industries. So I've got the Strike Industries uh, charging handle. And uh, as far as the grip, I went with Magpul's um, K2. I have them both on this gun here and, um, and my wife's gun. So a little bit more uh, vertical as opposed to uh, uh, horizontally based. Inside, as far as uh, trigger package is concerned, that is the uh, Anderson Polish Trigger. Um, I've got the Caw Valley 9mm um, bolt carrier group in there. Um, I've got the Magpul Bad Lever on there. Love that thing. I have it on pretty much all my platforms. I have, uh, as far as upper and lower, this is this is uh, Noreen Firearms, 80% lower, and uh, did all the work myself. Um, it's a standard mil spec um, lower parts kit, except for the trigger, and that's uh, Anderson, like I said, polished. Um, I've got Strike Industries um, Ultimate Dust Cover, which I believe is the ultimate dust cover. Bushnell TRS-25, fantastic. I have that in most of my uh, ARs. The actual upper handguard and upper receiver is uh, AR Stoner, and this is a minimalist. You'll see that this doesn't have a very good deflector, a very, very big deflector, and there is no uh, forward assist. Yeah, that's what it's called. God, it must be hot out here today. Anyway, um, barrel is also AR Stoner. That's an eight and a half inch. Um, it came uh, with the uh, 223 threads on it, and so the muzzle brake that I had, um, which I think is recoil, Recoil Industries um, and that needed a nine millimeter. So I got uh, um, a, an, a, uh, an adapter for that. So it goes from 223 threads to uh, nine millimeter. This is just a uh, Strike Industries knockoff, but so far, man, this thing is awesome. It's worked well. Um, of course, the Magpul sling. Um, anything else that I am forgetting? No, probably not. I think that's about it. But uh, inside, oh, I guess the spring is just your standard uh, mil spec spring. Uh, spring, and then the uh, buffer is actually a Caw Valley Industries. Same thing as the uh, belt bolt carrier group. I believe that's sitting at 5.8 or 6 ounces, and so it's enough to drive the bolt carrier home. So love it so far. A great build, and uh, it's functioned very well. Can't wait to use it in. Uh, the June Delta 3 gun fun shoot. So, all right, guys, I got plenty of other videos coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so the verdict is out. Both of the uh, AR9 pistols are working fantastic. Both my wife's, uh, wife's 9mm and my own 9mm. <coughs> No failures to feed, no failures to eject. So it's running really good. Got the right spring um, buffer combination in both of them. And I think she's gonna be very happy, very well pleased with how this is shooting. I actually uh, was getting bullseyes at my last setting with the uh, red dot. So again, this red dot was pretty inexpensive. I wanna say around 30 bucks on Amazon. It's called the Tacticon. Uh, Viper V3 I believe it is if I make a mistake on that then I'll change it up in the uh, little heading up here But comes with mount comes with a 45 degree mount and it comes with a red dot itself I think the uh, red dot is a 3M MOA um, Which is a little bit different than the Bushnell TRS uh, 25 which is a 2 mil um, 2 mil dot so It is uh, it's been great so far, but I've only tested it just sighting it in so time will tell whether that red dot walks, whether red dot dies. So I'll continue to test this, or I should say my wife will continue to test this. And we'll just make sure that everything is good to go. So these are running fantastic. Um, and again, the uh, paint jobs, haha, <laughs> yes, are totally awesome. So hope you like that. And uh, so far I've been very impressed with, with everything. So um, I'm gonna get this barrel to break in a little bit more. Um, 
I uh, was getting bullseyes with it. We're probably about 20, 25 yards away with the June competition coming up in uh, the 22nd or 23rd or whatever. Um, that's about what we're sitting at for yardage, uh, maybe a little bit longer, between 20 and 30 yards, but that'll vary. So this will be fun to shoot at that uh, the Delta 2019. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. We'll have some more videos out. I'm going to do a review on a, a, uh, a pistol light, which I'm actually going to transfer to my AR-9 for home defense. And I will have a review on a couple other things coming up. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for joining me.